to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com. Welcome to the Mary Goulet Show, cultivating a rich interior. Now, here's Mary. Welcome to the program. Yes, Mary Goulet, your host here on the Mary Goulet Goulet Show. And I'm going to do an episode for Catholicism is Cool because I was on uh, the phone with a friend of mine and she said, she's not Catholic. She's, I don't even know, we didn't even talk about what her faith is, but she said, can you explain to me the rosary? And so I thought I would take these, these four segments and dedicate them to one to each of the mysteries. And the rosary tells the story of the Blessed Mother and Jesus all the way from her getting, you know, becoming pregnant to his crucifixion. And there's a lot of rich stuff in there. So in the interest of time, I better hustle. The Joyful Mysteries, so there are five, and that comprises the five decades of Hail Mary's that you that a person would pray. Um, and typically, you would pray one mystery per day, and there's a des- designation of the day. So for instance, the first set of mysteries is the Joyful Mysteries, and I'll read through each one of those, and they are prayed on Mondays and Saturdays. Now, if you're not really that focused on each mystery, then you can just pray a Hail Mary or a whole rosary just, in, you know, like I do that when I drive because I don't have them all memorized. But if I'm looking through my book, then I'll focus on the mystery because the whole idea is you're meditating on that particular time in their life. Okay, let's go. So the joyful mystery... The first one is the Annunciation. And the Annunciation, I'll read this to you because it'll give you some context. Uh, where, when the angel Gabriel appeared to her with the tidings that she was to become the mother of God, he greeted her with the, sl- the salutation, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. And so with this mystery... We're, she was super humble. Can you imagine an angel came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And she responded with, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. So that is in Luke 1, 26 through 28. So these come from the gospel. All of these Little saying. So for this one, it's very important. Hail, full of grace. When we start out the Hail Mary, it's Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. So we immediately adopt that. The second mystery is the visitation. And this is when Mary was pregnant and she went to see her cousin Elizabeth, who was also pregnant, but at an, an older age. And she was pregnant with John the Baptist. So when Mary goes to the door, Elizabeth opens the door and says, first of all, she says that John the Baptist leapt in her womb. So John the Baptist recognized Jesus in the womb. It's pretty powerful. So Elizabeth says, blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus so that's in Luke one thirty nine through 41. So this is very interesting to me because I'll say the, the Hail Mary just so you, you have it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. That's the first mystery. Uh, blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. That's the second, the visitation with Elizabeth. And that virtue that you are cultivating when you're doing the Hail Marys on that mystery is the virtue of charity. So the joyful mysteries are humility, charity, and then the third mystery 
is the nativity, which is the virtue of detachment from the world. And nativity is when Mary was following, wait a minute, sorry, this is the birth. Oh, this is really pretty. Let me read this whole thing to you then. So this is how it goes in a, this, I'm reading this from a novena. Sweet Mother Mary meditating on the mystery of the nativity of our Lord. When your time being completed, you brought forth the redeemer of the world in a stable at Bethlehem whereupon choirs of angels filled the heavens with their exultant song of praise. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men of goodwill. So that is a prayer that we sing in our mass, um, our daily mass or weekend mass. Glory to God in the highest. There's, it's a beautiful exultant song. And again, that's for the virtue of detachment from the world. Um, The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation in the temple. Oh, the nativity is Luke 2, 7. The joyful mystery of presentation in the temple is when, um, in obedience to the law of Moses, because Mary was Jewish and so was Joseph, she presented her son in the temple where the holy prophet Simeon, taking the child in his arms, offered thanks to God for allowing him to look upon his Savior and foretold her sufferings by the words, Your soul also a sword shall pierce. And the virtue is purity. So let's go back on this. Um, In the crucifixion, there was a soldier after Jesus was hung on the cross and toward the last moments of his life, To make sure he was dead, they pierced his side with a sword and water gushed out. So that's why the stigmata is the five wounds of Christ, the two hands, the feet, and the side. So what he was foretelling her when he raised Jesus up in the sky with thanks that he was able to see his Lord as an infant He knew who Jesus was. He knew what was going to happen. So the Holy Spirit must have spoken through him and said to Mary, your soul also a sword shall pierce. So she knew something was coming up. She knew down the road she was going to be in a great suffering. And Jesus knew his whole life, but I don't know if she knew every single day or not. Because the first 30 years, there's not much said about his life or hers. I think she's only mentioned like four times in the Bible, but in pretty important times of Jesus' life. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Now, if you're a parent, you'd be freaking out. Her and Joseph searched for three days looking for Jesus because he disappeared. And they found him in a temple speaking with teachers. But when they walked in, he's like, okay, I'll go home. There's also something in there that's like, where else did you think I would be? Because he wasn't learning necessarily from the elders. He was teaching them in the temple. And if you go back in history... One of the reasons why Mary and Joseph were freaking out was their kids missing. That's that's the first reaction. Secondly, it wasn't safe. It was still wasn't safe for Jesus to just be out in public or Mary and Joseph because the Romans did not want him around. Okay, so that one is for the virtue of obedience to the will of God. So if you... Even just read the Bible passages. Oh, let me tell you which one that one was. Because these are all in Luke. Luke 2, 45 to 47. So the joyful mysteries are all in Luke. And Luke was the the one that wrote about St. Paul, which is fascinating. And if you get an opportunity to check out the movie Paul the Apostle, I recommend it. I just ordered it. It was in theaters. 
and I have the DVD, and I can't wait to watch it again and then pass it around to my friends. So each mystery, so these five you would pray, and for the very basic, say a glory be a Apostles' Creed, if you have a copy of that, Our Father, Three Hail Marys, Glory Be, Our Father, Ten Hail Marys, and repeat that five times. Ten Hail Marys, Glory Be, Our Father, Ten Hail Marys, Glory Be, Hail, um, Hail Marys, Ten Hail Marys, Our Father, until you're finished. And then at the end, we kind of tie a bow around it with Hail Holy Queen. And I love this prayer. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. So there you have it. That's the joyful mystery. Mondays and Saturdays. That's, um, even just go and read about them. You can find these online super simply. Just Google the rosary. And next I'll do the luminous rosary, the luminous mysteries. Okay, you're listening to the Mary Goulet Show. Be right back. Presentations with no impact, no inspiration, and no traction. Do dull speakers have you and your team disengaged and distracted by smartphones? Christopher McAuliffe brings energy, insights, and two decades of experience delivered with punch, humor, and heart. Your team will leave energized, uplifted, and with a sense of purpose. Visit ChristopherMcAuliffe.com to bring some heat to your next speaking engagement. M C A U L I F E. ChristopherMcAuliffe.com. One person has the power to change the world, impact millions of lives, and leave a legacy for lifetimes to come. That person is you. In the New York Times bestseller, What is Your What? Steve Ulcher, award-winning author and founder of the Reinvention Workshop, reveals his proven process that has helped thousands of men and women discover, share, and monetize the one thing they were born to do. Grab your free copy now at www.whatisyourwhat.com slash free. That's www.whatisyourwhat.com forward slash free. Take a break from politics. Tune in and learn something. WS Radio shows are worth your time and are filled with tips and advice. Add us to your lunch routine and we'll give you a meal for your mind. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, VinVillage.com, where wine lovers connect. Be sure to tune in weekly to Vin Village Radio for exclusive, in-depth interviews with the who's who in wine and food. Take a break from politics. Tune in and learn something. WS Radio shows are worth your time and are filled with tips and advice. Add us to your lunch routine and we'll give you a meal for your mind. I've been bragging about Progressive Medical Center to you guys for years, and I'm so excited to have Dr. Agoli with us because, Dr. Agoli, a lot of people walk through your doors, and some of their biggest problems are they're just fatigued, they're tired all the time, and even though they're dieting and exercising, they cannot get the weight off. Why is that? It's a combination of poor metabolism, inappropriate eating, but, but more importantly, it's due to a lack of education and really doing the right testing. A lot of our patients are metabolically compromised. What does that mean? Their metabolism is not functioning. The metabolism is responsible for all physical and chemical processes 
processes necessary to sustain life, and that includes energy. And without cellular energy, your body is not going to be a burning machine. Let's get back and teach our listeners to be a fat-burning machine. It's been a lot easier to maintain my weight since Progressive Medical Center started treating me with all-natural supplements, learning proper nutrition, and that can be you today. No more frustrations about being tired or overweight. So why don't you get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today through ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. This is your life. Live it well. 